G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Hey kids, Ozzy here. Today on Storytime with Ozzy, we've got a great book about space. This one's called On the Moon, and it's by Anna Milbourne and Benji Davies. Let's read it together. The moon is very far away. Look, it's all the way up there. What do you think it would be like to go there? A few people have been to the moon. Astronauts went there to see what it was like. Look, they landed on the moon. If you went to the moon, you'd be an astronaut too. Look, this little girl wants to be an astronaut. She's made her own spaceship out of a cardboard box. How fun is that? To get to the moon, you have to go in a huge rocket. Five. Four, three, two, one, lift off! And then it goes, fires up into space. The astronauts sit in a tiny cabin at the very top, all the way up there. The rocket flies into space. There's nothing but stars and darkness all around. It takes four whole days to reach the moon. That's a long way, isn't it? When you get there, you climb into a little spaceship. It flies down and down and lands gently on the moon. To go outside, you have to put on a spacesuit. There is no air on the moon. Space suits carry air so that you can breathe. Well, that's pretty important, isn't it? We need air to breathe. The moon is silent, empty and dusty. There are huge mountains and big holes, but there are no trees or water, no animals or people. There's not much up there, is there? On the moon, you feel very light and floaty. When you walk around, you take big, bouncy strides. You can jump really far, much further than you can at home. That's because of the atmosphere and the gravity. It's like you're floating out there. Astronauts sometimes go exploring in moon buggies. They collect moon rocks to bring back home. They take photos to show people at home what the moon looks like. Look, he's collecting rocks, moon rocks. Astronauts put a flag on the moon to show they've been there. You can see our world from the moon. Look, that's Earth. All the blue bits are the water and then the brown bits other land, and the white bits, that's the clouds. It looks tiny because it is so far away. When it's time to go, the astronauts blast off for home, heading back to Earth. The moon is left almost as it was before, apart from a flag and a buggy, and some footprints in the dust. Can you see the footprints? Do you think you'll ever go to the moon? I'll tell you what, that would be quite an adventure, wouldn't it? It'd be lots of fun, 
Imagine being able to walk along the moon and just bounce and then do really big jumps. And wearing those spacesuits would be pretty fun too. Kids, I hope you love learning about space and I hope you enjoyed this book today. It's certainly one of my favourites. We'll see you again on Storytime with Ozzy. And until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Ozzy? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Ozzy episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of